season is here. I'm pretty much done with deer season and kind of switching gears, getting into coyote season. I'm pretty excited about that. I uh, still have a lot of fields where I typically hunt that's still in standing corn, but gonna get out tonight for a few sets. I uh, got a little bit of showers coming in a little bit later. It's like 35 degrees right now. Uh, real calm winds. We had winds from 25 to 35 mile per hour yesterday uh, with some gust up to 60, 65 mile per hour. A bunch of people without power yesterday. So I'm hoping tonight's pretty active. So hopefully I can get some called in and bring some footage to you guys. Stay tuned. Let's see what happens. This bobcat was six to 700 yards away when I first noticed its eyes reflecting off of the sight mark wraith. You can notice how close the eyeballs are together, the difference between a bobcat and a coyote, and how it methodically comes in to the sound of the call.
I eventually turn the call completely off and it eventually works its way in to 10 yards setting down right in front of me just trying to figure out what's going on. Well, I'm pretty close to home and figured I'd close this video out. Uh, my first set there, man, I thought this was gonna be an awesome night. I called in that coyote and I shot it, I'm gonna guess at probably 135 yards. Still not real great at range and stuff yet with this sight mark uh, wraith. But I went out there and I was pretty confident that I at least made contact with it and did see a little bit of blood. And you can kind of see there, hopefully anyway, in the thermal video, where he kind of ran off what I would consider kind of slow. Um, definitely wasn't a full on sprint out of there. So I felt like he was injured and I was able to get up there and find a little bit of blood, um, tracked it to that wood line. And then I don't have permission to get into that woods. So I just stopped there, but that's unfortunate, but nobody's fault, but mine there, um, hate injuring those and not recovering them, but that's part of hunting. But then right after that, I kept calling um, and I bet five minutes had went by and that bobcat came in, but still aren't able to shoot bobcats here in Indiana for some reason. So I had to just sit and watch him, but that was pretty cool. Hopefully that footage ends up being pretty clear. I'm excited to see what that looks like on the computer. But this year for coyote season, I do plan to make a lot more videos and just kind of bring you guys along for those hunts and uh, hopefully show you some good footage and I will recover the next coyote that I shoot at. So still pretty upset about that one, but we'll keep trying. But you guys make sure and subscribe, like this video, stay tuned for more. Happy hunting, be safe. See you guys, bye.